By the look of things, a cow literally just spawned. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> What's up, agents? Zero here, and welcome back to some more Mega Skyblock Tube. Today is actually going to end up being the season finale. I know it's been quite a while since I started this series, and now it's finally coming to an end. And I'm actually looking forward to the next version of this map, Gaming Cyclone. It has been, in fact, been working on it, and he did, in fact, tweet out uh, not too long ago that he is, in fact, um, finishing up the map. Um, I'll make sure to uh, have on screen a picture of the tweet that he sent out. It's really not saying it's coming out, but it's a related tweet nonetheless. Um, um, so I am looking forward to the next version of the map, which by the way, Gaming Cyclone, I know you're watching. Do not rush it. As a map creator myself, I know good things take time. So take your time. I will take a look at the map once it's finally released. Anyway, so we're starting things off today right in front of my mob spawn. Now, I was working on this uh, in last episode. I think by the time last episode was completed, it was a 9x9 nine nine on the inside, if I remember correctly. And there were no mobs spawning inside it. So I decided I was going to work on it in between episodes so now the inside is in fact 25 by 25 and there are actually mobs that have spawned on the inside of this thing this skeleton is not going to leave me alone i can tell um actually it's a good thing this skeleton decided to spot me because i'm actually going to start this episode off doing something that admittedly is going to be stupid but I actually have a reason for what I'm about to do. So one of the achievements that Gaming Cyclone gave to me is to die three times. And I've already technically died twice. They were all actually off camera. And I figured to start this episode off, let's do something stupid. Let's kill ourselves at the start of the episode. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? And the fact that that skeleton managed to... Spas, which I don't know. Is he still in range? I don't think he is. No, he is not. Okay, that's not too big a problem. I have other materials in my inventory already to go ahead and do this. So, the stupid thing of which I'm actually going to end up doing in order to achieve this goal once and for all is actually a few different items. I have myself a puffer fish. Which I'm going to eat, which by the way, you should never actually eat these things to begin with. You should always use some to brew potions because you're going to see some really nasty effects happen to me as soon as I eat this. And also in my inventory, I have myself a bow and some arrows. The thought process here is I'm going to aim the bow straight up at the sky and attempt to hit myself with the arrow. And I'm not even going to uh, shoot the bow, bow very hard. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and eat this. So I've been getting Venaja, Poison, and Hunger, which the Poison is working really fast. I don't actually know what level of Poison this actually is, but I'm already down to a half a heart, which is what I want, because I'm fairly certain if I go ahead and do this, there we go, that did exactly what I wanted it to do, alright, there we go, and it says, it says up in the top, I was shot by me, that's kind of interesting, alright, so, now that that achievement is finally out of the way, I'm actually ready to go ahead and get started with this episode. And what I'm going to actually end up doing to start this episode off is I'm actually going to give you guys a brief tour of the entire set of islands. Now, it's been a while since I started the entire series, and it's been a while since I've been to certain islands, so I'm not going to actually end up remembering 
every single little detail about every single island. I mean, there's like certain islands that I know I'm not going to remember all the details of. Um, but I might as well go ahead and give you a tour of what all the islands are. And then when we're done, as you guys might possibly remember from last season, that island over there is our final goal. We're going to be heading there at the end of this episode. So to start things off, we spawned somewhere down there, down on the uh, super flat terrain down below, inside of a little building, which I actually was in, um, I want to say last episode or the episode before, I don't exactly remember, but um, yeah, it was actually last episode. So we were down there because I was working on a bridge and I fell off and I still have my elytra on which I don't have on right now. I decided I didn't want to lose them from killing myself the way I did. And so I flew down there, caught my eye on that building and we were down in there to start the episode off. And then we spawned in this island and this island actually started out as a 3x3 three three island of dirt with a single tree. In fact, this piece of dirt right here that this sapling is sitting on is actually where the tree was growing when we first started the series. And, and then we ended up expanding it out. I do believe, like, in the second episode, in the third episode, we went over to this island right here, which this island actually had... A chest um, sitting on top. I don't remember the exact contents of it, but I turned this into my cobblestone generator. It wasn't until several episodes later that I got redstone that I decided to upgrade the cobblestone generator. Sometime later, I went ahead and made myself this 3x3 three three infinite water source, and then I also made this nice little house which let me go ahead and quickly put this some of this stuff away um while i'm in here i'm gonna go ahead and grab myself my stack of food so now i'm gonna go ahead, now that i've basically explained to you how this series started out let's go ahead and explore the islands a little bit so over in this direction we have an island comprised of smooth stone, vines, and gravel. And this uh, island did, in fact, have a chest. Again, I don't remember the exact contents of the chest. But it was actually kind of interesting that I um, made it here. Because if I remember correctly, the contents inside of this chest were actually fairly interesting. Next island I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is this island all the way over here. And by the look of things, a cow literally just spawned. That's kind of interesting. So this island over here basically is built out of bricks, obsidian, and bedrock. And it has a villager in here, which the... Um, Trades on this villager it aren't exactly all that good. 37 run flesh for an emerald, which my uh, mob farm all the way over there isn't exactly efficient enough to make good use of this guy. But we had him to begin with, so then we can also trade in 8 gold ingots for an emerald, which we never had an enough gold in order to do that. I think I still have the gold ore that I got from... Another island, which I'm going to be showing a little bit later, and I haven't even smelted it yet. But there's only two gold ore, so we were never going to be able to have enough materials to satisfy him anyway. So next up we have this island right here, which this is nothing more than a fallen tree. Now... If I remember correctly from Gaming Cyclone telling me this was actually a custom built fallen tree because I know every so often, I don't know what the spawn chances are, but I know they're low, trees will actually uh, grow fallen over, but he custom built this tree, which I kind of like the idea that he did with this. Over here we have 
a grassy island full of uh, plant life, tall grass and flowers and stuff. And I actually had a little bit of a problem with this island at one point because there was a sheep that spawned here and had eaten a little, quite a bit of the grass and I had to actually take care of that uh, sheep so that the grass would be safe because there's actually another island, that island over there, which I'm going to be showing later that there was a sheep that spawned over there and ate every single piece of grass that was over there. I absolutely hate sheep for this exact reason. You'd think I'd hate a hostile mob, but no, I hate sheep. Alright, so then right here we have two different branching paths. This path leads to more islands than this path over here. So I'll go ahead and show this path here first. So this is stained clay, or I guess I should technically say uh, terracotta, because when uh, glazed terracotta was added into the game, clay was renamed to terracotta, but it's still the same blocks nonetheless. Over here we have ourselves a mushroom island, which has, I, if I remember correctly, this is called Mycelium. And inside of this was just a giant red mushroom, and at the top, the very top block of this pillar was actually not a mushroom block. It was actually a diamond ore. And there were like, there were three diamond ores that I picked up in this particular uh, map, which is actually kind of interesting. I was actually able to make myself a diamond pickaxe with those three diamond ores, which there was actually an achievement that I had to earn on this world that Gaming Cyclone gave to me, which was to make myself a diamond pickaxe, which I do have a diamond pickaxe at home already. This island night right here is, well, no blocks. Yeah, I guess you guys already technically saw this. So this island had a whole bunch of redstone dust along the top. This center block right here was actually emerald ore by the side because I'm a bit an OCD person. I know I don't always come off that way. <laughs> um, I decided to go ahead and make another note block to place in the center. So that's what's going on with that island. Now let's go ahead and branch off over to this other direction. And I'll go ahead and say this right now. The first season of this uh, series, there were certain islands, like for example this island, that did not exist. But the Mushroom and Notebook Islands did in fact exist last season. I'll go ahead and explain which islands existed uh, when. So to go further, this island right here, this island actually contained a bed and a chest underneath the bed, which I actually do remember what was in this chest. There was some wool and a piece of cooked mutton because in season one of this series, when I found this island, there was a sheep spawned and he was pretty dumb. He ran right through the fire, got himself killed. And apparently from what I heard from Gaming Cyclone, he had the same thing happen as he was putting the map together. And he did that, in tech, I guess, in memory of the sheep. I don't know if that's actually what happened, but he told me the story, at least. Up next, we have ourselves a completely new island to this season. This is an enchanting island, which I never actually ended up using because I got... Uh, Lapis very late in the season, and even then I didn't really have anything that was worth enchanting. I mean, I do have my diamond pickaxe, but I didn't actually use it because I didn't want to waste it. So, now we have a few islands off in this direction. So the first island of which is a nether island which just consists of soul sand, nether rack, nether brick, and obsidian, and somewhere on this island, I do believe it's like down in the lower parts, yeah, there is some quartz orb, but I felt it was going to be 
a little bit risky to get the quartz ore um, because I probably just end up falling straight to the bottom. So then we have three more islands off in this direction. This is actually a cave island which existed last season and as I mentioned there were gold ore that I picked up and this is actually the island of which I got said gold ore from. There are also a few other ores in this island as well. In fact one of the ores that was here is in fact one of the other diamond ores that I managed to pick up. Now off in this direction is actually two entirely brand new islands as of this season. So we have a little bit of a desert oasis, if that makes any sense. It's probably not the right term for it. Um, But basically this is a little bit of a pull. There was a um, little bit of a uh, hill right here, a little bit of a lounge chair, a um, umbrella. And then back here there is, yeah, it's still actually here. I did not pick it up, but there's a chest back here. They had some interesting stuff, and I don't remember what all the in, uh, stuff was that was in it. And I actually was on this world during the beta, and when I reverted back, um, unfortunately the signs that were in this world lost all their text. I'm not quite sure why going to the beta and coming back to uh, prior to beta did that, but it did. There was, in fact, some text on this sign saying there was like, hidden treasure somewhere on this island, which I found, uh, within that episode, obviously. I literally just realized I am missing a torch here. I don't know how I managed to miss that. Anyway, enough distractions. So, this island up here is a slime block island, which actually had something rather interesting on this island. I actually managed to find a... Totem of Undying on this island, which I still have in my inventory back home in one of my chests. So that's this entire side of the islands. So now I'm going to go home, get some materials, and then I'll go ahead and show you guys the other side of the islands. Give me a moment. Okay, so I'm back at home. I have some materials in my inventory because as soon as I'm done giving this little tour, I'm going to be making my way over to the Ender Island, which again is all the way over there. It's out of focus right now, but I'm sure that if I walk a few blocks forward, it should pop into view. Yep, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this tour and then we're going to head all the way over there and end off the episode and the season. So over in this direction, this is the island that I mentioned earlier. So this has some clay and this was in fact covered entirely by grass, but as I mentioned, there was a sheep that ended up spawning and ate every single piece of grass so this is a little bit uh more boring than it would have been um had that not happened but this did in fact hold a little bit of a secret and i do believe yeah it's still down here so there's actually a chest right down here i don't remember what was in this chest and i don't even remember if i left everything in there okay so i did in fact take everything out but that was kind of hidden away, and I didn't even know it was going to be back there until I spotted it when I was, like, over in this direction. I don't know whether or not I saw it when I was on that island, or if I was coming down from above that island. I'm not entirely sure which of the two it was. Over here, we have ourselves our little farm, which is just simply growing melons, pumpkins, and wheat. And this was another one of the achievements that I had been given. Over here is a little bit of a sand uh, pond. I know that probably doesn't make sense. Um, this is just basically sand, sandstone, water, sugar cane, 
and a little bit of grass and these lily pads I actually managed to pick up from fishing. I decided to put them down on the water so I can just simply walk across it to make it a lot easier to be able to get across. Now up here is actually a little bit of an interesting island to say the least. And I found an exploit which I used the heck out of. So in this island is a set of furnaces and a villager which he is a toolsmith and he'll trade 16 coal for an emerald. I found an exploit with this guy, and I'm pretty sure this exploit is not supposed to be working, but apparently it was. Um, so as it turns out, he also was willing to accept charcoal instead of coal, and I decided to use that exploit, and well, now I have an emerald block down at home. Um, you guys might have seen it. Um, earlier when I was getting stuff, uh, after I killed myself, which I still can't believe I did, but it's technically one of the achievements. Um, over here we have ourselves a little bit of a snow island, which down in here, there was actually an ice block right here, and below this ice block was actually our third and final diamond door. And I decided to go ahead and take a piece of cobblestone so I could actually get myself back out. I already showed you guys the uh, mob farm, which as I mentioned I was I built last episode and then in between episodes was doing some work on. This is a glazed terracotta island, which these holes were actually filled with lapis ore. That's where I ended up getting all my lapis from. And I didn't actually have a fortune pickaxe in order to do that, which... In some cases is a little bit unfortunate, but this is technically a skyblock map, so not having fortune isn't really too big of a surprise. Over here we have ourselves a volcano island, and on the soul sand was actually nether warts, and I do have some of the nether warts back home. I don't remember how many it actually ended up giving me. Now, this is the bridge that I showed you guys last time that did not end up getting finished because I ended up falling off. And then this island is an Ender Tower Island which had a bunch of shulkers on it. This is where my second death came into play. My first death was actually a little bit earlier in the series. I was trying to set up my shulker box back home, my backpack and I fell off in the process. That was my first death. And Shulkers hitting me and me falling down was my second death here. And this chest contained my elytra. And I actually had initially thought about using my elytra to go from this island all the way back home. But I decided against it because I'm not exactly very good at using elytra to begin with and plus I honestly didn't think I was actually going to be able to make it between the distance from that island all the way over to my home island because it is quite a ways away and that's pretty much all the islands that's pretty much the entire tour all completely done. That's pretty much all there was to this map apart from this final island that we're going to be heading off to right now. And I do believe I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to go, going to go ahead and mention this again, although it's also possible I didn't actually mention this. Um, Last season, the final episode, not only did I make my way to that island as the final episode, but Gaming Cyclone himself, the map creator, was actually a guest 
on that episode, which is actually rather interesting. Him and I are actually really good friends at this point. Um, we uh, have been doing a little bit of stuff together. And while I have had a little bit of fun working on this map, let me go ahead and move this like this because I'm a bit OCD. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way to the final island of the map. And I probably should have gotten myself some torches because it's going to turn nighttime in just a few moments and I don't know if anything's actually going to end up spawning on this island. I can only assume not because it's made out of end stone, but then that doesn't necessarily mean anything because if it's dark enough, mobs should be able to spawn just about anywhere. I'm, as I'm reaching it, there, I'm noticing there's an emerald ore down there, which there's no way I'm going to be able to get to, at least not easily, so I'm not going to bother. Plus, we are at the end of this uh, series anyway, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But here we are. We made it to the Ender Island with all of the chorus fruit above me. And it is turning nighttime. But that's really not too big of a deal because we finished Mega Skyblock. I've gotten every single one of the achievements. All 15 achievements have been achieved. So the achievements that I made in this episode, I got the Skyfallen achievement, which was kill myself three times. Because I've killed myself twice in two previous episodes. And I intentionally did that this episode. Um, so the mods for the job, the... Mob farm, I technically completed in between episodes, and I went ahead and gave you guys proof of the fact that it actually managed to get done. And then there were two final achievements that were on the list, at the very bottom of the list. Um, one is End of the Road, which was Explore Every Single One of the Islands, which this is the last island on the map, so I went ahead and explored it like I said I was going to do. And then, end of a mega adventure. Complete mega skyblock. And, well, I did just that. I know this was a bit of a longer episode, to be completely honest. But it was well worth the effort because I did enjoy this map as I did last season. I'm actually looking forward to next season. Which, again, Gaming Cyclone is, in fact, working on a new version. He's waiting until... 1.2 uh the better together update to come out which again just as a reminder to you because i know you're watching the series you always do uh but take your time to finish the map because again i'm a map creator myself you know this good things take time to do so i don't care how long it takes whatever it takes to finish it because i know you are currently at school right now you've got other things going on Take your time to get the next version of the map out. But with that out of the way, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode and the season. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed If you did, make sure that like button. Well, more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at HNCP0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Studios. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I will see you guys later.